In this video, we're going to talk about how we can add some of those control elements, specifically if-then statements, to a script that makes a map to utilize this, these aspects uh, to make map making easier. So what we're going to do today is we're going to begin uh, with an upper air station plot. And so I am going to start with a copy of the upper air observation plot. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, duplicates, and then I'm going to take my duplicated copy, which I created just seconds ago, move that into my notebooks. So I work in my more controlled environment here. I'm going to rename my script to add something to the beginning that says if then upper air plots. To go ahead and open it, I'm going to double click on the file. And here we have our classic setting uh, for our upper air observations. So this one is set and ready to go to create a map, but we've hard coded a date in here. And it's not necessarily using today's date. And so we want to use if then statements to be able to choose an appropriate time based on the current time. And so we need to make a few modifications. One of our modifications we're going to do is we're going to take our date and set it by the UTC now framework. And so if we were to do this, we would likely get an error. So let's go ahead and run our first cell. Whoops, got an error uh, because this is the first time I've opened up this particular file. My kernel is set just on the generic Python 3. We can click on this kernel and switch to our Valpo-Spring-2020 kernel and select that. And our kernel is ready to go once we see that populate there and then we can go ahead and rerun this and we then overcome our error. Now if we go ahead and start this if statement or start, start this uh, read statement, we're going to use the current time from the computer. We're going to print that out. So I just added in a print date here. And my guess is this is probably going to error. Sure enough, we printed out our date as March the 19th, 2020 at 21 UTC. And it says no data is available for March 19th, 21 UTC. Part of that is because we only have a uh, data available for upper air stations at typically at 0 and 12 UTC. So what we would want to do is choose from today's date, set our hour variable based on what the current hour is. And so we can construct an if statement that uses our logical arguments to then be able to control our setting of parameters or variables within our script. And so we're going to ultimately want to figure out hour. So if date dot hour is greater than, let's say 14, let's give it some time to get 12 Z data and make that maybe even 15. We're going to want to set a new variable called hour equal to 12. Else, otherwise, we're going to say hour equals zero. Now this is not going to be perfect because then even our data shortly after the turn of the date is not going to be perfect, but this will at least get us a good chunk of the way there and enough for the purposes of weather technology. But in order to actually use this new variable that we're creating through the use of an if statement, we're going to need to reconstruct our date object, our date uh, variable. And so we're going to say, um, synoptic date equals date time and then we're going to use our previous date date dot year to set the year date dot month date dot and now date not date dot hour or um, date dot day and then we're going to want to use uh, our new variable hour to set it and then we're going to need to use that, so we're going to need to change our date value here to be synoptic. Oops. Underscore date. 
Oops, I misspelled that. Let's go ahead and change that back from data to date uh, to use this properly. And we'll see if this works. It may not because the Iowa State Archive may not have the data from 12 UTC currently available. So we'll see what happens. Sure enough, it seems like we were able to get our data. And if we go ahead and run our plot, we're probably going to get the wrong time on here. We've plotted that full lot time from, from our date. And so we're going to change this instead to our synoptic underscore date to get a better plot here. Oh, that's because we are using down here. I was wondering why we were still getting the wrong date. That's because down here we were using just regular date. So we need to add synoptic underscore date. And so you see here, there's a lot of weird spacing and stuff going on. And part of that, I was trying to, to do some formatting on our title here. And so just spreading this into two lines, and I'm just going to add a whole bunch of space. I'm trying to get 850 all the way over to the edge. And this valid, the 12 UTC, all the way over to this edge. So I can do that by adding some spaces in here. Looks like I could add just a few more. Yeah, it's maybe a one or two too many. Look at that. And there we've just added a little more spacing to make it a little nicer uh, of a plot. This is not something that absolutely has to be done, but could be something you could do to make some really nice maps by just adding a little bit of formatting uh, to some of these elements. So the main aspect of what we did here is we incorporated an if-then statement. And so we modified how we were setting the date to be able to choose an appropriate time based on the current time. So now we would be able to use this notebook whenever we wanted to plot the most current value of our data for upper air data. And since we can only have two different options, we just set up a simple if statement to set up if our hour is greater than 15, set hour equal to 12, otherwise else choose zero, and then set up a new date variable using that hour variable to properly get our synoptic data, uh, upper air data from the Iowa State Archive. And so we could even see then what our synoptic date would be compared to what our regular date was by simply adding in a print statement here. And so you see that from the computer, we got the time when I just ran this cell of 2130 and 19 seconds. And using our if statement and resetting our date with this other date time object, we have now made that into March 19th at 12 UTC. I hope this helps explain a little bit about how we can use some of these control elements uh, to be able to refine our use of scripts uh, to, to make them easier to make the maps we actually desire uh, right when we need them. Thanks for watching.